All right, guys. Volkswagen project is underway finally. Um, I, I, I looked to see what was the name of this color because I couldn't find it anywhere on the can. And this one finally found it on the back. Okay, we got purple sunrise here. This is the color shift purple that we're going to do a two tone thing with somehow or a ghost flower. I don't know yet. I'll explain that in a minute, but. This one I could not find a name. I finally found the name back here for anyone that's wondering. This is Purple Licious. Yep. That's Purple Licious. And we got some blazing black. Like I said, this has like glitter flake in it. I didn't realize that at first, but oh well. I got a regular can of black outside that it takes forever to dry. These don't take long to dry. Now, I know. I would actually recommend probably getting the Tamiya or Traxxas because of the fact I think they're bigger cans. They're a little taller because they're for the, you know, one-tenth model or whatever uh, truck. These are meant for a 124 scale model mostly, I believe. That's why they're so small and they don't go very far. I, I used two cans on the uh, Toyota. It, now, that was a hard body and I had to paint it from the outside, so it did take a lot more. But I still came up a little short almost. I wish I'd had more. It worked, but this won't be bad because we're painting from the inside. It's a quick coat, and, and it doesn't take much. So with two cans of these, is going to be fine. Now, as you see at Hobby Lobby, I picked some things up for the garage here. We got a baseball also. We got baseball, mitt, bat, television here for the wall or something. And we got a couple of old antique guns i was gonna hang one of them up i think in the toyota back window we'll see anyway got me an exacto knife again but uh i could not find any scissors for this leg sand body and that's going to be my hardest part is getting this cut out it's not going to be easy that's some pretty thick stuff right there too i mean good lord look at the bottom here you ain't oh man i got my tin snips but I don't know what we're going to do. As you can see, she wants eyelashes on it too. So, all right. Now, first thing, I mentioned taking all the inner fenders off. And I can't do that. I forgot. The uh, shock towers, the shocks actually use the inner fender for the tower. I had some shock towers for a TRX Ford that allowed you to remove the fenders and mount the towers. But I sold them to a friend. <laughs> so, what we got to do, not a big deal. We're going to cut them. And we're going to, that way we'll still have inner fenders, basically. Just not all of it. I mean, we're going to make it fit the bug the best we can. And if I can't use much of the inner fender, we'll just use the shock tower piece. We'll cut them and use the shock tower. So, all right, we're moving right along. This is going to work out pretty good, actually. Um, I'll tell you what I did with the fenders. I cut them with these scissors right here. These old scissors, I've had these things... Jeez, I don't know how long. I got them off a job. You know, I always bring stuff home from job sites where people give me crap. These were already broke when I got them. I guess, you know, get better leverage on this down in here closer anyway, but they cut good. So I literally just used those to cut these inner fenders to the shape I want. And as you can see, the, the bug will fit on here pretty good so far. It's got to come down another, you know, inch. In all reality, you're supposed to cut it right here on this line where my thumb is. But if it gets to where I need to keep it a little higher, I can leave this and come down here with that and paint it all black and you wouldn't ever really notice the difference. But, but check it out. We just whacked them babies off. It now looks kind of like the uh, Bronco fenders do, the real skinny ones. And I cut more than I need to out. I still got to cut some more here on the ends. All right, we got her trimmed up rough cut we got to go around and, and sand all the edges i don't have a dremel sword we'll hand sand them now i've been going around with my metallic sharpie i bought and i'm painting stuff like this now, i'm gonna leave the front here i'm going to put yellow paint in the front uh and make it a clear or yellow light you know then uh, i was going to do the ring around the front here but man i might have to tape it off to do that all right, guys, we're coming along really good. Um, as you can see, we're getting it taped off. I was going to show you how I'm doing the 
the tape for up here and stuff because obviously it does not come with any of these kind of tape things you get the windows and that's it so if you want the sunroof different color and all that you got to do it yourself it's not gonna be great i ain't gonna I lie i ain't i ain't the best painter but uh it'll work i put made my own little sticky things on the inside originally to cover the lights because when the fenders get painted i don't want the light part covered even though it has a sticker for the outside i want clear so what i'm doing here though to make my own stickers basically i just take my tape i go a couple edges where i can keep a nice straight edge there and then down this way but then all the rest i just mark it with my marker then i take it out of here i'll show you real fast let me mark it all right now you'll see i i took a sharpie and just marked it all the way around a nice fine point sharpie on both ends so now i'm just going to peel it out and stick it to my desk now i'll just take my exacto knife and cut it out well my knife i got the exacto knife i ain't that good with this little sucker let's try it this time but definitely not with one hand so i'll be right back all right so now we got her i made sure it peeled up off there real easy without see it's got a curl to it because it's actually taking the shape of the car so that's a good thing but we got her all set up we just put her in there now so all right we got her all taped off i believe i'm probably messing up somewhere but uh i think it's going to be okay i don't know if it shows up on camera but i did go ahead and put this chrome stripe all the way down if the trim goes all the way around and ends back here so I went ahead and put that in there with that Sharpie. It's not a real thick coat, but once paint's under it, it's going to pop, I think. Um, now I'm just trying to decide on which route on the colors. Um, should we do the main body this color and do the fenders and the design with this? Or should we go the other way, do this on the main body and up here and then do these with just regular? I don't know. Hmm. I think we should do this part. I'm going to ask my wife. Let her decide. Either this can be the rainbow color. Or the fenders. And this can be. Let me get her opinion on that. And then we're getting ready to go shoot some paint. And we'll show you how it goes. I'm Sorry. We're getting ready to put the paint on there. I'm giving it a few minutes to... Uh, warm up to the temperature that we have outside boy this car needs washed don't it jeez i didn't realize how bad it was looking i know most of y'all have seen it but this is my 76 malibu let's turn on some light there Boom. i'm putting a transmission seal in it right now well I'm, I'm needing to i haven't even started that yet i've had it jacked up like this for a while hadn't done nothing but she's beaut, no rust, no rust holes anyway. All right, paint time. All right, we got a real light first coat. She's very thin. It does give us an idea of what we're getting as far as the two-tone scheme. You can definitely see where I put way too much uh, trim around that one, and it's ugly. All the bad spots, but I can always go around on the outside and try to sharpie them up too, you know. So, anyway, like I say, all this stuff's going to get that color changing paint and the fenders. And then we're going to do black down here on the running boards. Like I said, I do got to trim all the edges up better before we get to that point. So, anyway, that's the first really thin coat so far, as you can tell. You can still see through it. So time to hit it again. I'm just was worried about this outside being so humid. All right, now it does got that film on it and it's getting that fog haze to it. That's why it looks kind of cloudy. It's gonna look great when it's peeled off, guarantee that. I don't see any paint peeling through the windows, so that's good. We got a nice coat on there, as you can tell. She's, it's a good looking paint and it will shine. Uh, this brand of paint, it is kind of a base coat to where if you ain't 
real careful you can get it'll get like a little wind in there and it'll make it not shine at all when it's sprayed and you'll have to clear coat it but if you got enough in your can and you're doing a small area you can go kind of thicker and it will get a nice wet look if you're doing the outside of something you know what i mean when you're doing this you know it's going to shine once i peel this anyway but if you're doing the outside of a vehicle it will shine as long as you go with a nice thick coat at the end to where it can be wet and get a glass look just like it is in here when this dries it'll probably look just like that even though it's a base coat type of paint you just have to get it so thick but anyway we're going to give that just a few minutes then we got to peel off the fenders sand them just a little bit try to get the smoothness into them all the way around the edges and then after that we can hit the next color and then we got to peel all that stuff off and then i got this tape separate for the running boards and this top that's going to be black well i don't know what the heck man this stuff says purple the lid is purple the damn bottle says purple sunrise but you apply it over a black base coat i didn't know that so i guess you apply this under uh paint i don't know probably waste some money on 11 dollar paint i mean because i don't see anything happening yeah i mean i put it on there it says do it over top of uh black so i'll just put it underneath it first a couple coats and then i'm gonna put the purple under there and see what happens maybe once i get black over it or purple it'll look better so i'm gonna try it one more time and then we're gonna put purple right over top of it all right well it's a good thing i kept plenty of purple or i didn't use it all yet because you're, i'm having to do a layer of purple over top of that but i'm seeing it though you can barely see it right at the moment because i don't have enough quite covering but it does do its thing sort of so once i get it solid purple and then i'm going black again because of the sun rift there'll be black underneath it next so it's going to be plenty dark enough under it and it should come out as two different colors or at least have that sheen if not it's okay we'll be all right so all right if you guys were doing this would you paint that black or would you leave it clear and have a sunroof if i had interior i'd leave it clear i'd even maybe cut it out but i think since there's no interior yet we'll go with it like this and eventually if i do put an interior we will cut it out so it don't matter so now again this is a uh, blazing black i think i said something about um being a metallic i meant metal flake type paint earlier so let me get this last little bit finished all right now i was only going to shoot the sunroof and the running boards with the black you know and i wasn't too worried about going over the whole car with the black underneath right but as soon as i did i went ahead and just hit it anyway with a light coat and it made that stuff pop now i probably could have went straight black without the purple uh that i did over it if i did the black but it turned out great you really can't see it because there's no light right now but i'm seeing it when i look at it and i didn't want it to be a lot i wanted it to be real subtle and it is you can see the two different tones there so we're gonna hit a little more black underneath it again finish off one more coat and we're done check this out guys let me show you what we're working with now right there from that view you can't even tell the difference barely i mean you can but watch this let me show you something oh and i painted it all black underneath and that made that color pop but watch this purple blue how about that that's nice and that's without the peeling this off i can't wait to peel that off there look at that oh yeah nice look at that trunk i did the trunk too 
So boom. I should have did that big bubble in there black or the other purple. But anyway, I like it. I got to do some trim or straightening up the body a little better once I pull the plastic. But we got to get it put together just for tomorrow so she can run it. We can always do some more work to it later. All right, guys. I went ahead and got the stickers peeled off the inside. I was going to let my wife peel this plastic off. But I have to do it because I need to put some stickers on the outside of the car. So I think it's time. We are going to change these wheels also. We're going to make these wheels the silver ones. Oh my goodness. I can't lie when I tell you this looks amazing. Wow. It actually looks better than I thought it would. I knew it was gonna look good, but man, peeling that plastic changes everything. Wow. I outdid myself almost. Except for I screwed up the chrome trim. I shouldn't have done some of it, but you learn from your mistakes. I had the wrong pin. Oh my goodness. I don't know how that looks on this camera with this light right now but oh my goodness wow that color makes me speechless now right, let's see these are clear because i'm going to put headlights behind them but um for now we are putting stickers on there these are clear All right in that corner i left clear because i'm using this paint right here. I'm gonna put amber bulbs right there. And of course, tail lights. I was supposed to leave this part clear and I messed up, okay? I know I messed up, so leave me alone. But I left the back clear because I got the red for it. And this is not a big deal because this stickers comes with the back. And it comes with this piece, which is made to wrap around right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that piece, and I'm going to wrap it around. But I'm going to leave this the painted color for a bulb. But for now, we're just going to put the stickers on it. I mean, both of them. So, all right, I found my first complaint with this Proline body. And it's actually enough to make a person kind of like, what the fuck, man? Oh, excuse my language. The stickers. It's just the stickers, man. Why do we got to cut them out? I mean, these are like this window. Really? Okay, yeah, I can cut around the edge. You think I'm going to cut the inside of that? I ain't got that steady old Zecto knife hand. I mean, I could, I'm going to try, but... Jeez, man. I'm using the same scissors that I cut the ender fenders out with. I mean, I just cut this plastic with them. <laughs> and now I'm cutting stickers out. But I ain't gonna lie, they look good. Booyah. Again, I'm gonna paint the red on there, on the inside. Leave this around the side here, take that, and, and it's gonna be lit up later. But for now, this is what you're gonna get. It's coming a lot, I love it, man. Look at that color change, boom. Let me hit my light and see what it does. Look at that. How do you like me now? Oh yeah. That's exactly what I was going for. Just enough. I'm glad I did it with the outer fenders. And st I was thinking if I should have did it the other way, like this, that color, and this, the other color. I think I made the right choice. Boom. Yeah. So, all right. I did go ahead and cut one of them out. And I know you guys are probably saying that you don't need to cut the inside out because it's clear once you pull the sticker off. And and you also don't have to get so close to the edges because it's clear when you pull the sticker off. Yes, I get that. Stuff like this you do because it's going to come around the edges. You need it to be close. And up here, I didn't want to put that in there with the sticker window. Sorry. I didn't want it up there with a the sticker window. So I just wanted the frame part. And that's what we're going to use. Even though what I got painted is hideous, we can cover some of it up, see? 
All right, guys, it's almost 1 a.m. We got her buttoned up as much as I can for tonight. We got the tires swapped. They look good. I think that's better than the bright red ones on this chassis, or at least with this body. We got my Easy Boy tag on the back for her. They come off of her bumper. I went ahead and I mounted me some, I put some plastic back on here at the bottom. So now when I want to mount it, all I got to do is, I'm going to have Velcro on the front, you lift it, slide it right back. So, that's going to be the mounting system. And you set it back on there. Then up front here, you just slide it to where you want it. Boom. And there we go. I can't wait until she sees this tomorrow. Oh yeah, I think it turned out really good for what it is. I did put the window trim on there. A lot of y'all are probably like, well, you didn't have to cut the inside out because it's clear and it's just the window. Well, then you can see that. I don't like that. I don't mind using the sticker trim, but I didn't want the window to be sticking on there. The plexiglass, whatever. So, what do you guys think of it so far? We get it out in the light tomorrow, you'll see them two, two different colors again. Let's hit the color change. Boom. What happens if we go bright? Boom. Nope, nothing. It turned out okay to me, though. You can see some blue in there now. Alright, guys. The next video is going to be some fun action trails. Uh, nothing too major, hardcore. But it's an awesome background, some good rocks, river, sandy trails. I'm going to take the hauler. I'm going to take the trailer. I'm going to put two trucks on the back behind the hauler. She's going to run her truck. Now I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can and make a few videos or whatever while I'm there. You know, get a couple days worth of video. Anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.